Hey guys, it's Malik back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing the five things that I like about my car, as well as the five things that I hate about my car. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So to start off with what I don't like. The first thing that I don't like is, which everyone knows, center console I mean this is cool but it's not really practical coming from I had a Corolla where it kind of had the center console where you could lift up put stuff you know I had napkins you have catcher packets whatever you want to put in your center console I could Whereas with this, I mean, you got your drink holder, which I mean, it does hold a, a, a large, it, you can hold a, a big gulp in here, but the center console is one of the biggest problems or biggest things that I don't like. Another thing that I don't like, which I guess it's because I'm tall but depending on the parking space I mean here has a lot of space so I can open the door all the way but sometimes you can't open the door all the way or it doesn't open all the way and you can see right here is already starting to rub a little bit but the struggle of me you can say getting out of the car without you know, hitting the door or hitting here that is uh, something else that is a problem not a big problem but just something you have to get used to another one would be how low it is doesn't really affect me but all of my passengers complain about how hard it is or oh well, your car is low or how, yeah how hard it is to get in the car which for me it's not that hard or isn't too difficult but I have gotten lots of complaints in regards to getting into the car so another thing that I hate or dislike is the exhaust and the reverse light slash well right now it's just a reflector well not real reflector but placeholder whatever you want to call it because these are functional this isn't started with the exhaust number four it's not that loud I mean it's cool you can hear it when you start it up I wouldn't expect them to put anything loud on the coming stock from the factory but the exhaust definitely needs to be changed it's not that loud granted some people don't want something that's up you know obnoxious overly loud but they could have made it a little bit more louder on the startup and then when you're driving. But number four would be the exhaust. And number five, which I hinted at or I mentioned in another video, is this not being functional. It's cool you have, of course, they have an aftermarket, but it would have been nice if, at least from the factory, that it would come where it's functional where it, it blinks something where you know you can actually there's stuff in the aftermarket where you can use your factory set it uh, set up and you just get 
the middle bulb and you do that or you can just replace the whole thing in the aftermarket but it would have been nice if from the factory this was functional so those are the five things that i dislike about my car now it was very hard to search and see five things that i dislike because i really like this car it's it's nice and now i'll be doing five things that i like about the car number one being the drivability it is a nice car to drive the handling is great i am no professional driver but if i want to go for a little back road fun find a, or if i find a nice curvy road i I'm not going to push it to the uh, maximum because, again, I'm not a professional driver, but I feel confident when I'm going into different turns and whatnot. So, the drivability, number two, it's surprisingly good on gas. Uh, I've taken a f this on a few road trips it does have a, a a small gas tank but taking it on a road trip to atlanta and then to jersey slash dc or i went to dc and then went to jersey as well and drove back and i got close to 30 miles per gallon for the whole trip and then uh, normally on my regular day driving, I get close to 30, probably about 25, 26, and that's mostly city driving. So the miles per gallon or gas efficiency would be something else that I like. I think this is the most important thing that I like is it's a manual. We know those are dying uh, as less manufacturers are making it because it's less people are learning how to drive manual cars. So that doesn't give the manufacturers any incentives to make manual cars if they're not gonna sell. So the fact that there are still those companies out there that are making manual cars, that's another thing that I like. Number four would be just the customizability of the car and everything that it offers. As you see, I've been making all these different external mods, you know, the side skirts, rear wing visor the rear lip front lip but then there's also all the interior which i haven't started you can do these uh there's can change these in the aftermarket to different colors uh, you can do the carbon fiber overlay so where there isn't the uh, carbon fiber that comes from the factory you can go ahead and uh, do that so you can have carbon fiber here carbon fiber here you can do the overlays or if you want which i'm thinking about doing is you can get the carbon fiber steering wheel so the just the customizability or just everything that you can customize that is the fourth thing that i like about this car and the fifth thing which would surprise a lot of people is i'm not gonna say the power but 
it's a fun car to drive. Uh, granted, it would be better if it had more power and if it had more torque. But what it comes with from the factory, you can have fun. You can rev it out. It's a fun car. It's not one of those where if you do rev it out, you risk getting the ticket. With this and the 205 horsepower that it comes with, it's fun to drive. You can, I won't say get up quickly, but if you've driven one, you know that it's a fun car to go fast. Not really fast, but can't really describe it. But if you've driven one, you know what I'm talking about, where you get onto a, a on-ramp and, you know, you have the accelerator to the floor and you're going fast, not get you to jail fast but you're you're going fast so it's it is a, a fun car to drive just uh, where you can put your your foot to the ground on the accelerator and you're not gonna get in trouble on where you can go to jail so it's just a, a fun car you can put your foot to the ground and sometimes you might accelerate depending on where you're drive, where you're accelerating and what the speed limit is. You might get in trouble, but for the most part, if you're going onto a highway or if you're somewhere where the speed limit is like 45 to 55 miles per hour, you can have fun and don't have to worry about the possibility of getting arrested so those are the five things that i like as well as dislike about my car they as far as the dislikes they were actually kind of it was hard to find five things that i dislike as i really like this car or else i wouldn't have bought it but yeah, we're searching, nitpicking. Again, those things are besides the center console, which they have something in the aftermarket. But besides the center console, I think you can update or you can do stuff where they won't affect your life. And again, those things, they don't affect the drivability of the car. It's a low car, so that's not gonna change. The center console, I can find something in the aftermarket to update that so I have some type of space. Then exhaust and light, I'm just going to change those, but those are the five things that I like and dislike about my car. If this is the type of content that you like seeing, Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.